Hey, what's up? So if you were here, if you were here about an hour ago, then you know why I am doing a redo. And yes, a redo is totally necessary. Um, so my name is Donna St. Louis and I am the CEO of HighProfitZone.com. And what does High Profit Zone do? Well, we help people get, we help experts have financial freedom from corporate colonization. Basically, we show people who are experts in their industry, they are experts in their industry, and we show them how to turn that expertise into an entrepreneurial business. All right, so if you were just here an hour ago and you're like, wait, she just did this video, I also had to delete the video because of something that happened in the video. So if you were watching the video, you know what happened, and yes, it was funny as hell. For those of you who didn't see it, don't worry about it. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> So a lot of times people call me because they're really, really interested in how do they become a keynote speaker, whether they want to be a motivational speaker or whether they just want to add speaking as a source of income to their current business. This is something that people recognize as a very lucrative form of marketing and even a very lucrative career. There are tons of people who do it all over the place. So you might have dreams of being Tony Robbins in your head or maybe the next Gary Vaynerchuk. I'm actually going to give you some of the um, things that you can do to help you become more successful, you know, if you're really looking that direction. Um, so things that you should look out for. And then, of course, some of the myths, because there is a whole bunch of myths in regards to being a speaker. And so we want to break down some of those myths as well, because there are a lot of them. All right. So anyway, if you're here and you're a High Profit Zone family member, all you got to do is put hashtag fam for High Profit Zone family members, and we are going to get started. We're going to talk all about some of the things that people know, uh, know, don't know, or may want to know in regards to being a speaker. I myself speak internationally as well as nationally. Um, in fact, one of my speeches that's coming up here soon, in fact, on Thursday, is going to be for the National Association of Broadcasters. It's going to be out of Austin, Texas. The National Association of Broadcasters, they broadcast to, they are anything that has to do with television, right? So I'm going to be in front of all of these people who a lot of people try to get in front of in regards to TV. I'm also the first African-American female speaker that they've ever had on their platform. So I'm really excited. There's going to be a few thousand people in the audience. And that's about my typical. That's my typical audience, a few thousand people. Um, I do very large venues, although I've done small ones. But as of late, I've been getting called for very large venue speaking. So anything that's you know, a couple of thousand to tens of thousands. You know, there's one coming up in Kiev that's like about 15,000. Um, so, but how do you get started? Maybe you're not looking to be, you know, in a room of 15,000 people or 5,000 people. Maybe you're just looking for like 500 people. Like, how do you really get started in this business? How do you add speaking to your business as a lucrative form of marketing? So why do I say it's a lucrative form of marketing? Because here's the thing. Most times when you stand on stage, you are sharing with people your expertise as well as the case studies of how you've helped other people use that expertise. So when you help other people use that expertise, what are they doing? They're going, well, wait, if you help that person, maybe you can help me. So let me give you an example. There's three types of speakers. The first type of speaker is what we call a motivational, inspirational speaker. So a motivational, inspirational speaker might stand up and go, hey, look at me. I lost a hundred pounds. Okay. That's a motivational speaker. They're just standing up and they're telling you their story. That's it. Then, so that's motivational slash inspirational. Then you have a, the second type of speaker and the second type of speaker is more interested in standing up and saying things like, Hey, I lost a hundred pounds and this is how I do it. Right? So they're going to share with you some type of expertise. They're going to share with you some type of how to. Their goal is kind of to motivate you to do these things. And then you have the third type of speaker and that type of speaker is an expert. That type of speaker is, hey, I lost a hundred pounds. This is how I did it. And here are the 10 other people that I helped do the same thing and they've been successful, right? So inspirational is I have a story to tell. Motivational is I have a story to tell and this is how I did it. And expert is I have a story to tell, this is how I did it, and here are case studies to prove that I've done it and that you can do it too. So those are the three types. 
Most of the time, the most of the people that I work are experts. They have an expertise, there is something that they know how to do, and they're transferring that knowledge to other people in order to create a transformation in their life. Those are the people I work with. I work with expert speakers more so than inspirational or motivational. All right. So if you've decided, okay, Donna, that's what I want to do. And by the way, the inspirational and motivational speakers get paid well. Don't get me wrong. They do. But quite honestly, expert speakers who can inspire and motivate get paid the most. They are truly your highest paid speakers. You're going to see them in the 20, 25, 30, $40,000 range. Um, they usually start up around 10, right? So they start off around 10 and they work their way up. So that brings us to our first myth. The very first myth is in order to get started, I have to speak for free. That is absolutely positively a myth. And let me explain to you why, because this is an argument that I have with people all the time. Remember, I'm a coach. I don't coach people to start off with cheap or free. So I want you to imagine for an example, for example, that you are a real estate professional and every year, year after year, you have broke the million dollar mark. You consistently do well over a million dollars in commissions. Okay. So you're doing over a million dollars in commissions every year, twice on Sunday. For you, this is not rocket science at all. And the company that you work for has said, listen, we know that you can start your own brokerage firm, but what I'd really, really, really love for you to do is we'd love for you to go and instead of just doing um, uh, real estate sales, we'd love for you to go and teach what you do to our other real estate executives, our real estate associates, right? Do you think that you're going to do that for free? You just gave up a million dollars a year in commission. And because you have not gone and spoken, so now you're expected to do it for free? Absolutely not. You expect them to pay you, at very least, your commissions. That's what you're expecting to make, right? If you understand that speaking is just a modality of sharing your expertise, once you understand that, there is no need for you to get paid less. It is the number one myth that is out there. Listen, when I was, I was a certified project management professional, my expertise, my niche was the fact that I could take a project that was in the toilet, bring it out of the toilet and help them get ROI. I easily made as my base salary 175 a year, right? Base salary. The reason I made so much was because of the ROI part. Then I went on top of that and I said for every percentage point that I get, that I get you up to ROI, I want to make a bonus. So here I am, project management, I'm making 250 a year easily. That's before I did my whole executive become my own um, boss thing. So here it is. I'm doing this. I'm making this money. Oh, you know what? If I don't plug this in, you guys aren't going to hear anything. Anyway, I'm making this money and they said, hey, you know what we'd love for you to do? We would love to. I apologize, guys. But if I don't plug this in, there's no message. So anyway, they said, hey, you know what we'd love for you to do? We'd love for you to come out here and teach other people how to do the thing, the thing that you do. How do you teach people to do exactly what you're doing? And so I said, cool, I'll do that. Do you suddenly think I wasn't going to make $250,000 a year? Absolutely not. Not only were they going to have to pay me, they were going to have to ensure that they covered anything that looked like it was going to be my bonus, right? And so the problem that a lot of people run into is they say, oh, because I'm new at this and I'm, I just started doing this, that suddenly they can't make the same amount of money. That is absolutely untrue. Not only should you be making the same amount of money, you should probably be paying a little bit extra. So don't fool yourself into believing that you have to start off at cheap and free because you do not. You absolutely do not. Um, the other myth that people believe is all I have to do is speak better. That also is not true. I know people who are crap speakers, quite honestly, that make ten or fifteen thousand dollars per speech i know a guy that i am not kidding you stares at his feet but his content is so good that he makes a good amount of money if you've ever had a chance to see um it's not seth godin it's the other guy with crazy hair who did um um tipping point uh matthew uh, malcolm gladwell if you've ever actually seen him speak on the platform he is uh, boring he makes 
$40,000 of speech, right? And so that's the thing. And, and I know everybody's like, oh, but his name is also his expertise, right? So his expertise gets him those dollars as well. So you have to realize that it is not just about you being a better speaker. That does help. But you definitely have to have some content that people are interested in. Um, number two, the next. So the first thing that you need to know is your lane. What is your lane that you're going to make money in? What is it? Is it real estate? Is it project management? Is it leadership? Is it sales? Whatever it is, the number one way that we work with people at High Profit Zone to pick a lane is we look at three things. We look at number one, what is your motivator? And we use the seven triggers to identify your motivator. The second thing that we identify is your strength. What is the thing that you do best? The third thing that we identify is your um, expertise. What is the thing that you bring to the table that you do differently from anyone else? And how do we leverage that thing in order to within your business? So now we have what you do well, what motivates you, and also your expertise. We put those three things together in order to come up with exactly what you bring to the table that people are going to hire you for. So here's another myth. The myth is that I can speak on anything. You can speak on anything, but you're not going to get paid right? You really do have to pick a, pick a lane and saying, oh, I just help people get over there, whatever, whatever. Congratulations. If you're going to be a speaker who is an expert, you need to pick a lane. What happens is people get very confused because they see people like um, Tony Robbins or Gary Vaynerchuk. They, well, they speak on anything. Actually, Grant Cardone speaks on sales. Gary Vaynerchuk speaks on marketing and how entrepreneurs should leverage marketing. Um, um, what's his name? Tony Robbins is all about mindset, right? So even though it might look like they are the Walmart speakers, they are very, very specific in regards to what they speak on. So pick a lane. After you pick that lane, you can decorate that baby any way you want, but you have to pick a lane. Once you pick a lane, know who your ideal client is. Who is in that lane and why are they there? In other words, what is going on in their lives that they would pick up the phone and say, I need Donna to help me. I need Lena to help me. I need Dwayne to help me. What are they doing that they're saying, yes, I need that person. If you do not understand exactly what is going on in the life of your ideal client, then it's going to be really, really hard for you to solve their personal and professional frustrations. And with that said, yes, you need to know who your ideal client is. In other words, if you're selling something, you need to understand why they want it and who they are. If you don't know who they are, then who are you reaching out to? This is what I hear most times when people call me. What I hear most times when people call me is, I'm just going to help people get over their challenges. Great. What challenges? You have to be specific about that. Now, when you do identify them, are you helping them get over monetary challenges? time efficiency challenges, work productivity challenges, quality of life challenges. What exactly are you helping them get over and what is your methodology for helping them get over that other people don't have? These are all the things that we help ferret out when you're working in high profit zone. Um, another myth is that besides I have to be free is that now that you know all this stuff that you're going to look for your ideal client, but they have to be local. I will tell you that one of the challenges that people run into is it's really hard to be a prophet in your own backyard. It is easier sometimes for you to get booked nationally or internationally than it is for you to get locally. People take for granted that you're local, so they really do want to downplay your rate. And so what you really want to do is remove the whole local thing and start looking for bigger areas. Now, some people go, yeah, but Donna, I have kids and so I want to work at home. Great. So you know what I would suggest to you? I would suggest that you get a phone number that is other than your local area code and that you do not put that you're traveling from your local area and then target those locations. There is something about people who are only working in their own backyard that it makes it so much more difficult for them to actually get booked at home. It just does. Then you want to make sure that not only do you know your target market, but a target rich environment. It is really hard to go and say, I'm going to teach people how to sell beachfront property in Oklahoma. And for those of you who don't know real estate, Oklahoma is landlocked. So you want to make sure that you're actually selling your expertise to people who want it and that can use it, right? 
it's really really critical that you do that and if you're if you really know your expertise then you should know what you're doing differently than other that other people are not in other words you got to a certain point of success doing something that other people are not doing that thing that you're doing is your methodology that is your differentiator that is what makes you a thought leader and that is the thing that we want to pull out and make sure that you're selling that and sharing that with others consistently so you got to make sure that that you get away from that um local thing sometimes again you have to change you know i tell people all the time go get a google phone number that is not in your area code and make sure that and don't use a 1-800 number because people just don't use it just trust me i'm not going to go into why don't use an 800 number use a local phone number uh, a phone an area code that's outside of your local area definitely do that and take off your local city and state just start there that will at least get you noticed a little more um now besides all of this there are five must-haves so there are five must-haves that you need in order for you to really i'm not saying you won't make sales i'm saying if you get to this point and you're ready to sell, there are five things that you really, really need. And before I tell you those five things, I wanna share two things with you. Number one, I'm gonna share with you the international myth, the sell for me myth. I'm gonna share those two myths with you and how to break them. And then I'm gonna share with you the five things that you need. So before that, here's the one other thing you need to know. So High Profit Zone is doing two things for people who are not ready for the High Profit Zone Mastery Program, which is a nine week program. We have two High Profit Zone boot camps coming up. One is called High Profit Zone Speaker Pro Book Boot Camp for people who are really, really interested in being a speaker, but they're not necessarily sure exactly what it takes. We're going to do a deep dive in regards to how to be a high profit, how to be a high profit speaker, right? And we're going to go to the deep, dark, dirty details of the speaking business because a lot of people like to stand in front of their Ferrari and share, oh, you could be a speaker too, and not tell you the truth about the business. And I'm all about the truth. So if you're interested in that, just go to highprofitbootcamp.com, which is up in the URL. The other one is high profit sales and marketing. There are people who struggle with things like copy, marketing, and sales. They're not sure what they should be doing every day in order to close more deals. They don't know how to have a sales closing conversation. They don't know how to get on the phone and close deals. And quite honestly, in about six months, in six months, in about six weeks, I closed somewhere around $70,000 worth of deals. So I'm closing about $10,000 worth of deals per week. And that's just in one of my businesses. So you really have to think about, you know, there is a way to do this. And by the way, I do not consider myself one of those sales pros. I'm actually using a very specific formula and it's for people who don't really like to sell, but they know they have to do it as a part of their business. I have a way of teaching people how to sell that is totally comfortable, it's totally conversational, and it's a very easy way for you to close more deals. If you're interested in that one, go to highprofitsales.com. Both of those are happening in Orlando. The early bird rate ends on, on September 16th. So if you're interested, all you need is $500 down and that gets you in the door. All right, so let's talk about these. Oh, and by the way, if you're interested in the mastery program, the deadline for the mastery program is October 1st. If you're interested in the mastery program, just go to meetwithdonna.com. It is a nine week program. We are hitting it hard for the last couple of people that can get in by October 1st. All right, last thing, here you go. So there is something called the international myth. The international myth is that if I go overseas, I must charge a much higher rate. This is absolutely untrue. The fact of the matter is, is that the United States is one of the highest paid places for speakers. They pay a fraction of what we make in other countries. It is not uncommon for you to see these superstar speakers, but when they are overseas, they're making a quarter of what they make here in the US. A $10,000 speaker in the US makes $2,500 in many countries. And so what you really have to understand is there is this myth of when I go overseas that I'm gonna make so much more money. That is not necessarily true. Unless the company is a US-based company and they are doing something overseas, you likely will not be making the same exact fees. Many times your fees will be a fraction of what they are in the United States. So you have to get ready for a little bit of that sticker shock. Um, and the other thing is the sell for me myth. 
So many people get into this business and the first thing they do is they go, I'm gonna have people sell for me. Having people sell for you right off the bat is a huge mistake that will cost you a shit ton of money. And the reason is, is because you haven't even identified how to sell for yourself. How are you gonna teach someone else to sell for you? It's not like you're selling light bulbs, people. You are selling your expertise. So you'd have to have someone who's already in the business who knows how to speak the language to do it for you. If you are doing something and they are a commission only salesperson, you might be running into a challenge finding them, number one. And number two, if you do find them, you're probably gonna not be commission based and you're probably gonna have to pay a dollar amount and the training is going to be a bit of a curve. So the whole sell for me thing, I tell people all the time, you really have to make sure that you start you start with this in a different manner. You're gonna to have to do some of those sales yourself. That's why we have the High Profit Zone Sales Camp Boot Camp for people who really wanna know how to do sales for their business. It is so hard to do the sales thing. I mean, hire someone to do sales for you. It really is not right out the gate. I'm not saying it's impossible. I'm saying it's not the easiest thing. It takes a significant amount of investment to make that happen. So you just gotta be real about that. And I know people will tell you, you could do it. You can, it's expensive, just saying. Um, and finally, the thing that people always ask me about, this is the last myth that I'm gonna break, which is um, I'm gonna get bureaus and bureaus are gonna sell for me. Okay, first of all, when you're first starting out, a bureau won't even look at you. They don't want you, and they don't want you until you don't need them, right? Here's the other thing. When a bureau has a relationship, so let's say, for example, a bureau has a relationship with Starbucks, right? So Bureau A has a relationship with Starbucks and they book you at Starbucks. Three years later, Bureau uh, Starbucks decides they wanna hire you again. They come to you direct. You now have to pay that bureau that initially booked you there, you have to pay them their 25 or 30%, even if they had nothing to do with the second deal because they own the relationship. Or if it's not that, Bureau A worked with Starbucks and now Starbucks wants to hire you again so they go through Bureau B. You have to go back to Bureau A because that's who owns the relationship between you and that Bureau. If Starbucks says, well, we don't do business with Bureau A anymore, we only work with Bureau B, not only do you have to pay commissions for Bureau B, you also have to pay commissions for Bureau A because they own the relationship. You have to really understand how bureaus work within the speaker world before you jump out there and say, all I'm gonna do is work with bureaus. I am very selective in regards to the bureaus that I work with and I cross my T's and dot my I's in regards to the relationship. I let them know that the relationship will not be into perpetuity and that it will only be five years. Now I will tell you, because of that, a lot of bureaus do not wanna work with me because they want to own the relationship. And so I've had clients that literally have gone around the bureau because of that. Just like, you know, and there are deals that I've lost because I'm just like, no, I'm sorry. I'm not gonna have you own this relationship for the rest of my life. What happens when they don't like you guys anymore? So those are things for you to think about. All right, if you're ready and if you want to be a speaker, if you're like, Donna, this is what I wanna do. I'm really interested. I know you're telling me all the myths and the truths and the things to be aware of, and it's a lot to take in, then you really should come to the one day boot camp. It's going to be in Orlando, it's November, I think it's either the 21st or 22nd. I'm pretty sure it's the 21st because the sales one is on the 22nd. It's $1,250. It's $500 um, down. The rest of it you could do in a payment. Anyway, it's in Orlando. It's open to 25 people. It is a boot camp. We have two boot camps. You can come for both. If you're interested in both, let me know and I'll give you a discount. All right, here are the five things. One, two, three, four, five things that you need to have in reverse order if you are going to get out there and start selling yourself as a speaker and you don't want this to be painful. Number five, your fee structure. You need to know your fee. If I call you and say, how much do you charge for a keynote? And you go, well, I charge 10,000, but no, no. Or if you say it's between 7,500 and 10,000, what you're really telling me is that you want 10,000, but you'll take 7,500. And since I know that I'm gonna talk you down to probably like 5,000, and if I'm really good, I'm gonna talk you down to 3,500. You need to know your fees. You need to have them laid in stone. It needs to be your keynote, your half day, your full day fees, and any other fees that you have on top of that for multi-day. You need video. Contrary to what a lot of people believe, 
in regards to video, you do have to have decent speaker video out there. And that video needs to start off with you speaking. That is what they want to hear first. Period. The end. No questions asked. It's not all this other crap. If you don't believe me, I want you to go and look at a hundred speaker videos and I guarantee you that you will start scrubbing all the way to the point where someone actually starts talking. Event planners, decision making, meeting planners, all those people hate videos that start off with something other than you opening your mouth and speaking. The other thing that you need is your photos. Now listen, I'm not telling you you have to go and do like, you know, a, a top model photo shoot, but you do have to have decent looking photos in regards to how you look. Like they should not be glamour shot photos from 1982. Like we're looking for current photos, which means you should be getting your photos updated about once a year. I am now due for photos. I, I recognize that and that's why I'm getting a ton of them taken in Austin when I'm down there on Wednesday. Um, also, so number four that you definitely have to need, and this is actually going in reverse order. So number five is your fee. Number four is your video. Number three are your photos. Number two is your website. Your website has to be on point. And when I say on point, I mean, it has to look clean. It does not need to have a thousand pages. It probably only needs three to five pages. I do not care if you have eight years worth of blog posts there, quite honestly. As a person who has hired speakers and a person who gets hired by speakers, I know that I go there to look for who you are and what are your solutions and how can I reach you. Those are the top three things that I'm looking for every day, twice on Sunday. With that said, your copy has to be great. Not good, but great. We teach people actually how to write great copy. And the greatest thing about that is since most people's copy out there is shit, anything that my people write is actually great. So you really need to have great copy and that copy has to have a through line that they're going to see throughout your website. In other words, it's going to have a level of consistency. So while you have this great website with these great pictures and for God's sakes, stop putting these stock photos of people that you don't know. And that's not of you. Seriously, let's get some photos that you're actually in the photos. That would be great. And stop over filtering them. Too many filters on your web, on your photos just are just unrealistic. I have one that drives me crazy because the guy over filtered it and I can't wait to get rid of it. Um, and then the number one thing that you must have is you have to know your solution and you have to be so clear on your solution, the benefits, not that you want to deliver, but that your ideal clients actually want of your solution. That's what they're looking for. It is really not about you. It is about them. What is their, their personal frustration? What is their business frustration? And how does your solution not only deliver results, but create a transformation within their organization? Listen, I know you guys are going, I just want to stand on stage and hold a microphone and talk. That's great. However, if you're going to be an expert who leverages speaking to add more to their um, current business or you want to be a person out there that's consistently getting booked, these are some of the things that you're going to really need to have in place. I mean, this is real, right? I like don't sit here and paint a picture of, oh no, it's all hearts and flowers. Don't get me wrong. Once my people get going, right? And I tell people all the time, it takes like 12 weeks for the machine to really start rolling. Once my people get going and they get on stage, then the goal is as soon as they get off stage for them to be able to make more money from the time that they got on stage. So we want to turn that one speech into two introductions. We want to turn those two introductions into at least an additional gig. Plus we want to, and we just want to keep doing this exponentially, right? So that is really what we're talking about. If you are ready to turn your expertise into a speaking business, or if you're just interested, you're like, I just want to know about it. I gave you three links. The first link is High Profit Bootcamp. That is if you really want to know what it takes to become a speaker. You want the deep, dark details on become a speaker. Then there is the High Profit Sales. This is for people who are currently speaking or they have a business where they are a consultant or a coach and they're like, girl, I hear everything you're saying, but you know what? I got all the good stuff. I have no idea how to sell it. Then you want high profit sales. That's another one day boot camp. And then there's um, meet with Donna. If you want to talk about getting into the nine week mastery program or which by the way, takes you from, I have no idea to, okay, this is how I make money. If you're interested in that program, you have to call me, just go to meetwithdonna.com. If you're interested in the other two, you can also give me a call. I'll talk to you about what's exactly included in these. Our goal is to really help people 
financial freedom from corporate colonization. How can we get you there? My name is Donna St. Louis. I hope this was helpful. I hope you got all the answers that you're looking for. And if you have any other questions, please feel free to type them up. Please feel free to send them to me. I will do a live stream on your questions if you have them. I really don't mind. I actually enjoy helping people out and giving them the answers they're looking for. Anyway, that's all I got for now. I will talk to you guys later. Have a great one.